Good evening. She was a wife and a mother of two who lived in Hawaii Kai. 41-year-old Jennifer Rutka tragically died in a surfing accident on Tuesday. KITV4's Jeremy Lee now joins us in studio to share how she's being remembered tonight by friends. Jeremy. Everybody called her Jen. That's according to a close family friend I spoke to, struggling to find the words during this difficult time. Friends and family are grieving the sudden loss of a woman described as a mother who loved the surf here at home and abroad. Family friend Kevin Flanagan says he had been out surfing a different break and drove by the scene where emergency responders were called Tuesday to the surf break known as Seconds. Within a half hour, he says he got a phone call revealing the unimaginable. The world is, is far dimmer, you know, now than it was, you know, three, three days ago. 41-year-old Jen Rutka was reported missing by friends and passed away later in the morning after attempts to resuscitate. She is survived by two daughters and her husband. Flanagan says he surfed all over the world with the Rutkas. Jen was also a very experienced surfer. You know, on any given day, she's probably one of the best, you know, surfers in the lineup. We're all still kind of in shock. Uh, just about, about it happening. Friends and family say they are still trying to process the news. They also say there has been an outpouring of support as loved ones commemorate. How wonderful of a human she was. I don't think there was a conversation that I had where she wasn't laughing, always smiling, always, you know, looking on the bright side of things. So committed to, to her girls and to her husband. Um, she would uh, choose doing a, a small craft with, with her five-year-old over, you know, uh, anything else in the world. Rutka also worked in a managing role in the food and beverage industry here, as well as bringing up her kids in the community. Love the Hawaii Kai community, going out and spending time in the ocean and, and just being together and being happy was all they ever really wanted. Again, this is, this is such a tragedy. She was just such a wonderful human and we're all just devastated. Details are still scarce as to the circumstances of the accident at the surf break off of Portlock. There are no lifeguard towers in that area, but mobile lifeguards, according to emergency services, responded to the scene. Friends have set up a GoFundMe to offer support. Reporting live, Jeremy Lee, KITV4 Island News, tonight.